Alright, let's get started. Maybe the reason it only gives me two-thirds of my health is because it forces me to talk to this lonely old guy again. There we go. You know, it's pretty convenient that he found a little safe haven inside this mountain. As the angry video game nerd put it, what could be more dangerous than Death Mountain? So you can use these caves as a means of getting up the mountain a little faster. It means that you're less likely to run into those damn rocks. Or indeed those goblin, winged goblin things. This cave leads back. This cave leads to the path back to Caprico Village. Yeah, if you wanted to get back down the mountain, you head through there. If you saw where we had to lift up the boulder to actually get into Death Mountain in the first place, it takes you to a ledge. Oh, look at that view. <laughs> they were really proud of how this game turned out. You can see there's little bits here that we can drop down onto. Um, I think it might be worth our while to just quickly explore these places. Will it be? Uh, yes, actually, there's a heart piece to explore. Explore. Collect. Ugh. Uh, let's see. One... Not one there? Hmm. Ow. Uh, go with this one first. Again with Death Mountain, there's only so many paths that can be taken in it, so with a bit of persistence, a bit of patience, you will seek out all the routes and <laughs> hey! First time's a charm. Nice. And it is I, Zahashrila. You are somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. Okay, you can see there, that's normally a pit, but there's solid surface below it. You won't take any damage dropping down here, but you will fall to the floor below. I <laughs> just keep finding fairies, huh? Oh, these guys. This is what I was saying about the un the enemies that don't track you being more annoying to kill because they're less predictable. Where are we anyway? Oh hey, we come out this side. Okay. Whoa. That thing was like at least twice my height above the ground when it hit me. Uh, oh well. <laughs> and, whoa, what is this? Does it not do anything? Oh my god. I'm a rabbit! What the heck's going on here? Why am I a rabbit? Why can't I use my items? What's going on here? <coughs> what do you want? You got something to say to me, silly rabbit? <coughs> I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak and can't turn back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. But I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off. Shoot! Show. <laughs> what does your thing have to say? Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I'm always changing my mind, so I turned into a ball. If you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape. It looks more like a larval Kirby. Uh. Let's 
so this is the realm of the Golden Land. And as you can see, just based on a glance at the map, it's radically different from the world that we just left. Uh, it looks very similar, but there are small differences. Most helpful of which is that there's no spectacle rock structure. If we just use the magic mirror. Oh, there we go. You don't want to be in there for too long. Nice. You can see whenever you leave the whenever you leave the sacred realm using the magic mirror, it leaves behind a little portal that you can use to go back to the same place. But I don't want to be a rabbit. I love the sound effect it uses when you're warping between them. So yeah, this is the only way to get up to the top here. So as you can see as well on the map, it marks where your last portal is. You know, just in case you ever want to go back to that hellish place. Here we are, the Tower of Hera. First thing I'll mention... Well, it gets mentioned for us a little later. Anyway, these things are crystal switches! As you can see, there's blue blocks that block our way. They're doing their job, I guess. If you hit the crystal switch, the blue blocks go down, but the orange ones go up. Simple enough, right? What's this thing say? And it is I, Sahasrala the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. And we've also got, you know, pyrogenic triceratopses. So considering that it's the Tower of Hera, yep, six floors. Oh well. If you've got six floors and we're starting on the second one, then kind of a gaming rule of thumb is to start by working your way down. But first let's get this. The map. So yeah, the first floor is very self-contained, so I think that would be a good place to go first. So having the magical boomerang is pretty good with these crystal switches. It means that you don't, if you ever have to hit them at a distance, you're not wasting your arrows or your bombs. Or sometimes it means you won't even need to use them at all. <laughs> So these style children with the red heads, if you... I... You die first. Let me demonstrate. If they jump, they'll hock a bone at you. They'll kill everything here just in case not. No? Interesting, this isn't a singular room. Is it? I could have sworn I saw the... Uh, I caught a glimpse of the other rooms I was walking in. Oh well. So now I have a key. I'm really looking forward to recording the next dungeon. <laughs> it's one of my favourites to do. Oh god! Ow. Oh wait, I can't. I can't avoid these ones. Ah. Okay, in this area, that door to the right won't open until all of these tiles are gone. So all I can really suggest is just hold down B, keep your sword in front of you, and just, ow, line them up correctly. <sighs> Never again. Speaking of which... That's just one of them. Ah, oh, darn it. I just missed it. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That was a big magic jar. It recovers a lot, lot more of your magic meter. Well, I guess it would be kind of annoying if you got this far and ran out of magic. Oh, nice! The big elephant key! This early in the dungeon. Things are looking up. We're also going to be going up as well. Ugh, I'm tempted to use my fairy just so that I can get rid of that damn noise. Uh, can I reach the crystal switch? No. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, these things. I used to think they were fake crystal. They were meant to look like fake crystal structures, but you know they're just they're just kind of regular enemies. The trouble with them is, is that when you hit them, you see Link recoils back a lot, even when he's not taking damage, which is quite annoying considering the number of pits that are about this crumbling tower. All I can really suggest is just take your time and kill them quickly. <laughs> when you step on these star switches, it changes the layout of the pit. Which can be pretty handy if you want to surprise attack those, those squid things. I keep assuming that they will drop a heart and be gracious. That's why I'm throwing the boomerang. But no, no, they don't care about me. Hmm. More often than not, I take a lot of health off with these parts because just as I'm lifting up the pot, it's when those worm things decide to attack me. Sure, Link is vulnerable when he's carrying pots, I think he forgets that. Oh yeah, a heart. Qualified for rumble. Yeah! What's this? Compass! Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> that entire top floor is the boss's lair. And it is I, Sahashrila the Elder, an orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. I'm facing to the side and I'm still talking to it. Interesting. So yeah, um, the thing about dungeons like this where, you know, Again, it's like the Ice Rod, the Moon Peril isn't urgently necessary as soon as you get it, but, you know, it, and it is possible to miss it, so it's good practice to just get it as soon as possible. Oh, I can't stun those things? Uh, in retrospect, I should probably change the pit orientation there. There we go. Because it looks like the only way I can get to that chest is to drop down from the top, so I'd rather have as big a possible landing area. Whoa. Those red ones take a lot more hits. Yeah! I'm coming for you! Yeah! We got the moon peril, which protects the hero from the changing effects of the golden power. So that's quite strange. It's not the dark world. It's not the dark world that changes the appearance of people. It's the golden power. It's the Triforce. That is what is changing people's forms. It's not just the general effect of the world. It's quite interesting, though. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to make sure that the crystal switches were set to 
you know, lower orange is because if not, then you can't access these pots. And trust me, if this is your first time playing this game, you'll want them here. This is Moldrum. Look at that thing! This is one of the most frustrating bosses in the game. Simply, oh yikes. Because he, he knocks Link so far away. And if you fall off the edge here, down to the floors below, you know, your health doesn't reset, but his does. The best you can hope to do is, if you do get hit by him and you're near an edge, just it's, like just try and force Link in towards the platform. Like, if you get knocked off the right side, hold left as hard as you can. Because that very often will save Link. Oh, no, no. Like there. <laughs> I don't know what else can damage him apart from the sword. That's why I'm saying just... Oof. Yikes. He was... He was just after me there. Oh, yes! Also, whatever you do, do not fall down the pit after defeating him. Because then you'll need to do it all over again. So I'm looking at the timer for this recording and we're not even at 17 minutes. That was pretty fast. I'm surprised at that. We've won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Now go to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. <laughs> So with only 16 minutes on the timer, I'm pretty surprised at that. Um, since the Moon Peril is a very passive ability, um, there's not a whole lot else we can do, apart from just admire the scenery. Look at that. There's a better one along here. Can I actually reach it? I think we need another item. Hang it, Ted. Look at that. <laughs> That is quite nice for 16 bit. I don't. Or at least it's nice for 1992. Hmm. It's gonna actually take me a while to get down Death Mountain, so I think I'll just do the old save teleport. I'm gonna start from the sanctuary. I'll be right back, Zelda. Look here. I can get rid of this stupid little toothpick. Hey, you guys were, you know, big threat. Big threat, guys. Okay, these thief guys here you cannot kill, but if they hit you, they will force Link to drop some of his well-earned possessions, so... Nothing... nothing that's actually a one-off. You know, you won't lose... you won't lose your bow, but you lose some arrows. Anyway, the Master Sword is in the far northwest. Oh! You again! So you can see where we are here. We're pretty close. This just sets you up for awesomeness. Look at this. The hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins three symbols of virtue. The master sword he will then retrieve, keeping the knight's line true. Ready for one of the most iconic tunes of the Zelda series? Here we go! <laughs> Suddenly, Sahashrila contacts you telepathically. Andy, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword. 
that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please. Yeah! Look at that thing! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The Master Sword deals twice the damage of that rubbishy little fighter sword that we've got. Or we had, rather. Handy, help! The soldiers are coming to the sanctuary! Aye! Oh, yikes. Is that Zelda? I feel like presume that was Zelda. It would appear the fog has gone from the forest too, which leaves this really nice overlaying shadow effect. I must say, I do like it. Just, I gotta get to the sanctuary! It's okay, I'm coming, Zelda! The thing is, back then... In... Oh wait, no wait. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Soldiers have abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. We must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. Oh crap, he's actually dead. Oh man, okay. So I finally gotta go and finish what I started in Hyrule Castle. Yeah. I'm gonna let this fairy go, so I'm gonna show you guys something. When you're at full health, the Master Sword lets you shoot sword beams! They're extremely loud, but they let you damage things at long range. I think before I do anything else, I'm gonna go back to that witch's hut. If I'm gonna be, you know, delving into the abyss, I wanna be prepared. Ow. Let's see, I've got a green potion so far. Um, I've actually got enough money for two blue potions, and you know what? I'm gonna take them. Because <laughs> I'm taking no chances with this bit. takes three hearts off as I can get three back. Something else I want to show which might be handy for this next part. Just right here beside Link's house. Smash the boulders and more fairies! But alas, my bottles are full of blue stuff. So first you kill the guy that lives in my house with me. Not only that, you declare me a wanted man. And now you're taking Zelda. You've gone too far, I can Charge! Oh, ow. Ah, let's try that again. get to this part very early on, like even when you're exploring Hyrule Castle for the first time. But you cannot get past this thing, like right, without the Master Sword. This is a different dungeon, this is Aghanim's Tower. Seven floors of hell. <laughs> you wait and see. Golden Ball and Chain Troopers first off. It's 
kind of strange the way those blue soldiers hold the swords up high. They, they instantly detect and charge at you. It's quite unusual. Oh great, we're in the dark. Instead of Zubats, we've got Wubats this time. And more of those really, really determined picks. Yeah, I don't care that I've alerted the guards. Let them come. So if for some reason you wanted to turn back at that point, the block down the bottom left corner... ...is what unlocks that door. Who the hell's the key though? Oh wait, I have it! <laughs> I'll just, I'll just double check though because... You know, there's been times in this game when I've thought I've collected all the keys, got really far. And then lo and behold I'm missing the key. Oddly enough, there are some dungeons that you can complete without getting all the keys. So you end up with a little surplus. Okay. But I guess they're just playing it safe, you know, they don't want to create an impossible situation. Especially since the dungeons that have surplus of keys are ironically pretty late in the game. That'd be disappointing. Come at me, bros! Oh, fear. Damn it, the one time I thought I'd be creative and use the ice rod, and it fails miserably. Listen well, Andy. Even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical harm on the wizard. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. keys to get by here. Ow. Oh yes, his ball and chain was in front of him there. Yeah! More guys! 
Let me end your life. Fine. Leave that green rupee. I wish they didn't die. I need health. Zelda! Get away from where you feed. <laughs> Andy! I've been waiting for you. <laughs> I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold, the last moments of Princess Zelda. the seal of the seven wise men is at last broken. It is now only a matter of time before evil power covers this land. After all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us. The tribe of evil, when we are armed with the power of gold. <laughs> now I must go. What, are you going to leave me in here to starve to death? Well, the map seems to suggest there's another way out of here. Uh-huh. Like I said, taking no chances. Here we go. The game's mid-level boss. Oh so, you mean to say you like to be totally destroyed? Well I can make that wish come true. Time for a little game of Dead Man's Volley. <laughs> yeah. I have the Sword of Masters, also known as the Master Sword. Whenever he shoots the solid ball, that's when you want to hit it back out. Otherwise, stay out of his way. Especially when he goes up the top here, just get to a corner. Preferably a top corner. Oh. Well met. Like the true hero that you are. But I'm not ready to admit defeat yet. I will draw you into the dark world. You what? Oh no you don't. Get back here you! Andy, it is I, Sahashua. I am communicating to you across the void, through telepathy. The place where you now stand was the Golden World, but evil power has turned it into the dark world. The wizard has broken the wise men's seal and open a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the Light World, you must win back the Golden Power. You must also rescue the Seven Maidens who Aghanim has sent to the Dark World. As members of the bloodline of the Seven Wise Men, they have the power that will surely help you. The Maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world, and I can rely only on you. Please make this old man's wishes come true. I beg you. This scenery, this music, this this lets you know that you're in the deep end now. As you can see, we're atop the pyramid at the center of this dark world. And what do you know? We have to head back across another godforsaken labyrinth. I guess this guy's got no problem with vanity. Okay, so we have to descend this pyramid first and foremost. But first, head down here and jump off this particular ledge. Going along here, my first full length playthrough of this game, this was the last heart piece I ever found. <laughs> Another thing you have to be wary of now that we're in the 
We're in the dark world. These enemies, whoa, are incredibly tough. Like, see that little shop of horrors thing there? If I get hit by it, it takes off three hearts of damage. That's as much as an iron knuckle in the other games. And we've got this Cyclops coming at me. He throws bombs. He's very vulnerable to bombs, though. Yeah, he takes a lot of hits himself. This place is vicious. I mean, just because I have... How many heart pieces do I have? Nine? I have nine pieces of... I have nine heart containers. That doesn't mean I'm, by any stretch of the imagination, safe here. You know, it's, it's like we're back at square one, where it takes three hits to kill you. Anyway, if you save and quit inside the Dark World, you start back up at the top of the Dark World Pyramid, so... I think this would be a good place to stop. What's a bee?! Huh. <sighs> anyway, shall continue this next time. Onwards, to the Palace of Darkness.